Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks. And week two is in the books, and thank goodness it's over. I did horrible. A lot of people I know did horrible. Uh, but what can you say? It does happen in sports. Uh, 11 of 13 underdogs uh, covered on Sunday. Uh, that's just bad all around. Um, I think uh, the two leans I had, I went, uh, let's go look at my numbers real quick. I went. Uh, uh, one and three of my video picks is I took Minnesota plus a one and a half. It did close and then reopen that Green Bay plus three, which I ended up throwing some money on that uh, right before the kickoff. But overall, not too bad. Um, not too good, I should say. Uh, the leans went two and four with uh, the Chargers and the Rams. Uh, those are the, one, the two teams that did cover. Um, uh, these are the places, you know, Buffalo and Arizona. Um, but, uh, and my Twitter picks that were just unders and overs, I went two and one. Um, if you not following me on Twitter, my link is below. You can follow me there. Uh, plus, you know, hey, I'm getting, uh, you know, anywhere from uh, seven to 15,000 uh, hits per video, but I only got 3,000 subs. So please, I can't express enough. Uh, hit like and subscribe below. Uh, just to, to follow the channel and you know keep up even if even if you don't like my picks you can at least follow somewhat newsworthy information that i provide to you on this content here um, and uh that's it head coaches are three for 11 after week two um, so that's not good as they went winless after week one so let's get this ball rolling My fourth pick of the week, my upset pick of the week, we got the Buffalo Bills traveling to the Minnesota Vikings. The Buffalo Bills are a 17 point underdog. And yes, 17 points is the highest spread so far this year. Extremely high, three scores uh, to beat um, you know, Buffalo, which is pretty much basically just way too many points. That's basically the main thing is just too many points. I mean, the Minnesota Vikings aren't a showboat team. Uh, they're not going to try to run up the scoreboard. They're a disciplined, well-balanced team. And if they see they're ahead two scores, they'll just, you know, keep running up the middle just to drain the clock. That's the type of team they are. I think Buffalo has a decent up defense just to, you know, keep this within two scores. Uh, their rookie quarterback, uh, he, he, he did fairly well, did score some points. He did some rookie mistakes last week against San Diego. But, you know, I think uh, he'll iron some of those out, keep the score, you know, within two scores, uh, and uh, keep it close enough to get that 17 points. So take the Buffalo Bills plus 17 points. My third pick of the week, we got the Indianapolis Colts traveling to the Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles are a six point favorite. Uh, the Eagles start in Wentz this uh, week and between Wentz and Foles is night and day. Wentz will you know, rack up a lot of scores. He's an excellent passer. He'll run the ball um, when he has to. Unlike Foles, you know, he's a game management quarterback and low scoring. So Foles will definitely get to score a lot of points on this uh, game. Now the Indianapolis Colts, again, they, they've been playing well. They played well in Washington last week, but they're on back-to-back -back road games. And no matter how hard it is for no matter what team it is, back-to-back uh, -back road games are, is extremely difficult. And winning one of them is uh, just challenging enough. Winning both of them is nearly impossible. So I'm taking Philadelphia Eagles minus six. My second pick of the week is the Chicago Bears traveling to the Arizona Cardinals. The Chicago Bears are a four point favorite. And here they go on the road after winning the Monday night game against Seattle. Arizona Cardinals are a flop. You know, they, they basically scored one rushing TD and, and missed the extra point on top of it um, uh, in two games. So they scored a total of combined points of six points in two games. 
here, the, I think the uh, defense should easily pitch out another shutout like the Rams. Bears defense looks extremely well. The Bears will score, you know, at least 10, 20 points and, and, and keep those uh, that four points at bay easily. So I'm telling you to take Chicago Bears minus four. And my number one pick of the week, we got the Los Angeles Chargers traveling to the Los Angeles Rams. Both of them right there in the city. No much, uh, you know, not much traveling. But the Chargers are in back-to-back uh, -back road games. And they, they did play extremely well in uh, Buffalo. Uh, the Rams, what can I say? The all-star team, the dream team of the NFL this year. Um, showboating it, scoring a lot of points. Probably, the, I think they're the second most... Uh, uh, offense right now. Uh, Chargers won't be able to keep up much. So it's a seven point spread. So I'm telling you to take Los Angeles Rams minus seven. All right, as far as my lean section goes, seems to be my largest segment. I'm trying to compact it, make this a, not such a large, lengthy video. Um, so sorry if it seemed to be running a little bit quick for you. Um, but in the lean section on Thursday night, we got the uh, Jets traveling to the Browns. The Browns are a three-point favorite. When was the last time you seen the Browns favorite at all? Uh, the Jets, I think, was it last year? They this is a close competitive game, and Jets did end up winning by three. The, the Browns seem to always end up, you know, messing up things on their own. They're, they had a bad kicker, uh, which lost it for them last week, uh, which they could have won in the Saints. I, and don't get me wrong, they do look better. Yeah, let me get three large on the Browns. Uh, but I'm not ready to place them as a favorite, so I'm taking the Jets with the young team and the young quarterback. Uh, next uh, lean would probably be the uh, Bengals traveling to Carolina. Bengals looking pretty good. I mean, they look great. Uh, they're well rested. You know, they played the last Thursday night game. Uh, they got a couple extra days off. Um, prepare for the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Carolina, you know, rough start. They got demolished by the uh, Falcons last week. Uh, and I, I think the Bengals can go in there and uh, get the job done or keep it close. You're getting three points, why not? So I'm taking the Bengals plus three on that one. Uh, next, uh, the Tennessee Titans at uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, a divisional game. Try to stay away from that in my top picks. But uh, Jacksonville, wow, did they do a great number of the Patriots. Uh, they look, Tennessee just barely squeaked by a win with Houston. Uh, so I, I'm taking Jacksonville plus, I mean minus six and a half on this one. Uh, the, another divisional game, the Saints and the Falcons. It's, it's, I, I'm going towards the Falcons, it's only three. Um, but, the, you know, I've seen the Saints before where they, you know, 0-2 and, and they still did this great uh, streak of winning and made it to the playoffs uh, a year or two back, I think it was. Uh, it, it rarely happens, but it does happen uh, going 0-2 and, and still making the playoffs. And I've seen the Saints do it before, so it's I'm kind of going off this one to make a half a unit bet on the Falcons minus three. Um, and let's see, the Packers traveling to the Redskins. Packers play the Redskins extremely well all the time. Um, I don't know what it is, but it might have been just the Kirk Cousin, but you know, he's in my, uh, Minnesota. They, they tied that game. Packers, uh, like I said, they want to keep this division and win. Uh, the Washington Redskins, you know, yeah, they did beat up uh, Arizona in Arizona. But they lost to the Colts at home last week. They're not a great home team. So I'm taking the Packers minus three. It's only a field goal. Uh, the, and the last but not least is my uh, Detroit Lions hosting the, the Patriots. The Patriots are a seven point um, favorite. Patriots are on a back to back um, uh, road game here. Uh, they lost in Jacksonville last week. But you know, this, the secondary on, on Detroit is just looking so bad. Their pass rush is looking a little bit better. Their offense did a little bit better um, in San Francisco. Could have won that game if it wasn't for a bad call. Um, but here the Patriots are, and I've never seen the 
Well, it's been a long time, but I, I've seen the Patriots lose back to back, but it's really extremely rare. So I'm taking the uh, Patriots uh, minus the seven. All right, so I got a lot of links for you below. Check out the YouTube prognosticators. Uh, stay tuned for my uh, links as far as the um, uh, my sponsors go. And uh, remember, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next week. Peace. What's the line? Eagles in three. Oh, f spread. I told you before, I tell you again, man, they just a fluke. You enjoy placing a few bucks on your favorite team? Maybe try your hand at cards or on the slot. Use me as a reference and click the link in the description below and receive a new member bonus and help support this channel. Bovada, just better. IPTV service with over 2,000 channels. HD and 4K, BOD, PPV, and the Sunday ticket. 24-7 channels and so much more. All this starting at $10 a month. Go to halfmoon.kstreams.tv to sign up, find out more.